Earth is four and a half billion years old, or approximately one third the age of the whole universe, which does mean that Earth is quite an old place, with an enormous amount of changes during its whole history. It would be quite interesting to see what Earth was like when it was first formed, and in today's human history, we have some pretty accurate predictions of what it was like during that time. So in this video, I'm going to, let's say, go back in time when Earth was only 500 million years old, when things started to get going, and see what would it be like to spend a day on Earth 4 billion years ago. To be clear, a day on Earth 4 billion years ago wasn't 24 hours, it was around 6 hours, that means only 3 hours of daylight. That is because of the moon, which was formed very close to Earth and the forces of moon made a day on Earth very short. So if you were to spend even few minutes on this early Earth, you would need an oxygen tank to survive. Because well, the atmosphere wasn't made out of nitrogen and oxygen, it was made out of toxic chemicals. Because of the constant volcanic eruptions, so you wouldn't be able to breed. Temperatures on this early Earth are much higher due to volcanic activity, so standing on this early Earth wouldn't be very pleasant. Landscape throughout the Earth would be very barren and very rocky, with an occasional volcano and a lava lake. Also be aware, Earth was constantly bombarded with meteorites and asteroids at this time, so rock could fall on your head at any time. Earthquakes as well would be more common. Basically, the whole Earth would be unstable. Interestingly, there was water on Earth even 4 billion years ago, that likely came because of the comets that smashed onto Earth, containing water ice that unfroze, and, and there likely were oceans. Standing by the shores on these oceans could be very dangerous as tides and waves would be many times bigger than they are today. Basically, tsunamis and Earth were a common thing, still it would be interesting to see that. Looking up at the sky, it would likely be hazy at times and at times clear, but the most notable difference is that the moon would appear extremely large, that is because it would be only 25,000 kilometers away from Earth, compared to 38,000 kilometers away, which is its current distance from Earth. That is because moon formed a very close to Earth at the beginning. It formed when a Mars-sized object hit the Earth and from the pieces that were shattered during the collision is what moon formed out of. So because moon was so close, you could feel forces of the moon pretty easily, which is what causes these high waves and tides on Earth. Looking at the moon from early Earth, you could even see volcanoes erupting on moon and every detail of the mood would be staggeringly clear. In case you were to bring some microscope, and you were by the shores of some small salty lake, and by examining the rock, you could by sheer luck spot the earliest forms of life on Earth. Because 4 billion years ago is when the first forms of life appeared on Earth. There is fossil evidence suggesting that, Using a microscope, you could spot these primitive life forms and see what jump started all of the life we can see, what we as humans once were. So, yeah, going back in time to spend a day on the early Earth, we would be rewatching what our home planet once was, and as we can see, it changed drastically. Just to think that in the same place you're standing on right now and going back in time, 4 billion years ago in the same place, you wouldn't be even able to breathe and would likely die within minutes. Our home planet sure did drastically change into a welcoming environment. And thanks to that change, I am here talking about what Earth once was.